Chad Brendo, Bearcat Journal. Khalil Lewis, um, you didn't drop a pass last year. So obviously, got to be a little frustrating the way this season has started. How do you get that out of your mind, snapping clear, and, and, and get back to the way you were in the second half where you were making plays and, and moving the ball? Well, I'm um, just getting back to my routines and catching the ball after practice. I got kind of mistracked. I ain't been catching after practice, and I had to humble myself. So I got to get back to my routines. It won't happen again. You know, is, second is, half, that was that was Coach Zucker, you know what I'm saying, talking to me to get my mind right. My mind hasn't really been I – mean, I've been wanting to do great things, but it just hasn't been happening. So I had to talk to my coach, and he got, got me right. How do you keep yourself from – putting too much pressure on yourself or, or, or making it worse by overthinking about it. How do you just go out and, you know, snap and, and, and play and let it happen? Uh, well, you know, I want to do great things. And I, sometimes I force it and I try to do too much. Um, sometimes I just got to let the game come to me. And that's kind of what I did in the second half. Just let Hayden make great throws. And I just got to do what I normally do is catch the ball. And when I get the ball in my head, make a couple moves and get what I can. Does it feel like this offense is starting to figure it out, starting to, to understand Who's going to be open? When? How? Is yes. it? It was. Um. We thought we had it in the fall, but you know, game time is different. So it's really, it's really clicking now. I think that uh, that game was a big turning point for us. That was it. Coach talked about in the second half having Dokes and Warren pound those five, four, five, six yard runs, kind of picked you up. How did? What kind of momentum do you get from that when you see them? Starting to move the chains and starting to get things going. When I mean, you see them young guys going hard like that, it's just it's, they pick you up anyway. Like you see young guys do anything good, you support them, and it just gave it gave me energy. Like you no, know, they're not giving up. We're not gonna give up, and we always knew we was gonna win that game, no matter what, no matter what time was on the clock, what the score was. Like we knew we was gonna do it. So. When you go back to you know getting you and Devin and, and getting everybody at Hayden, getting everybody together, what's the 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 locker room like between you guys talking hey you know maybe I see this maybe I see that and working through a new offense and what you understand of it well, one thing about Hayden, one thing about Hayden Moore he's real open he'll listen he open to uh, all ideas when we out there he wants to see what we see and uh, he just makes a lot of great reads and you know what I'm saying we just gotta catch the ball that's it no more drops the rest of the season over it <laughs> all right man thanks appreciate it Khalid.